we stood up the lockers with um, just a scuba diving capability because that's all the Coast Guard had as collateral duty. Um, now that we're, we're full-time divers, it's a natu natural progression to be safer and more capable by introducing this uh, surface supply diving equipment like the extreme lightweight dive system, XLDS, that, uh, that we're fielding here. We started realizing that we weren't able to do all the missions we needed to do, so we started looking at new equipment that could help us do those missions. For instance, the contaminated water uh, or mildly contaminated water protection for the divers, um, as well as some of the things that require a hard hat uh, to dive using uh, underwater, some underwater tools and, uh, and cutting ability underwater. Scuba is just like you would do recreationally um, on a vacation or, or something. You're carrying your air on your back. You're limited to only the air that you have on your back and the skills that you bring with you. Um, surf supply diving, you have a tank on your back just in case, um, but you have an unlimited air supply uh, coming to you from the surface. So the diver himself really has an entire team of people topside um, to take care of any issues or help them get through whatever problems there are down below. So that's, that's why it's so important to have uh, um, that surface supply capability. It's safer. That's much, much safer. This particular diving equipment provides this uh, um, hard hat and surface supplied gear as it allows us to completely encapsulate the divers um, and protect them from the water that they're diving in in case there's uh, moderately or, or heavily contaminated waters, for instance, oil or, or um, biological contaminations in the water.